Let's go. Hello, how are you both doing? Good, man. Hello, you? Very well, thank you. Very well, yeah. Strange time in the UK in the last week or two weeks of everything. Yeah, but, wow. I can imagine. Uh, so it's been a strange time. Uh, congrats on the movie, guys. Thank, thank you so much. I so uh, watched it last night. It was thoroughly enjoyable. So congratulations on that. Uh, didn't realise until this morning when I Googled you both that you're both executive producers on this. So even more of a reason to, to talk about talk about that. How, how did that come about? Because obviously you guys are part of it as actors. Christina's part of the producing team as well. So how did that kind of come about as well as getting involved with the project? Maybe Lucy, I'll chuck that to you first. Oh, okay. Um, well, I came on first as an actor and then as a producer, but I mean, it's really as simple as I was so moved by the script that I I wanted to be in, involved as both an actor and a producer. And it's it's rare for me to feel that way, to want to attach my name as that. Like it, it just, these are the types of stories I want to be telling with these types of actors. And um, there's not many movies like this these days, I feel like, where it's truly about the human experience and um you know there's no smoke and mirrors it really is about these characters um and i was a big fan of the book after reading the script so it just kind of made sense to be involved um as a producer as well is that the same for you canal yeah obviously similar to exactly what lucy said i think we were both moved all of us were very moved by the script and as a producer you also get to really do things um off screen that can really help people watch this story or people see this story, you know, and so we can work on two capacities to really get this out there. And obviously there's a, there's the, there's the book and then obviously the book itself, you know, the book within a book and everything else in your, in your career thus far, or as a, as a person, has there been a book or a film or a piece of music or an album that has wow. either moved you or helped you on the career path that you've, that you've chosen? Uh, I'll give you a second to think about that. It's quite a, yeah, I mean, I think we've, we've talked about this in a couple of interviews about books. I think Lucy and I have talked about, uh, you know, books. For me, it was The Alchemist was a real important book in my life. Mm. And the Prophet by Khalil Gibran. I think, Lucy, what book had you mentioned? Oh, uh, The Four Agreements. Yeah, it's yeah. favorite. But I'm trying to think. I mean, I'll I'll say one of each. That's like a favorite book, an album. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking about, an album. It's like, a great question. Uh, Jagged Little Pill, Alanis Morissette was like the album for me it's like still is the album have you seen me. the musical lucy it's playing right now the oh, palladium. Palladium oh i thought you meant in new york i want to see it um and then, oh, what is, and then i think the movie that it sounds silly but greece was the movie where i was like oh this looks like this could be for me and i remember <laughs> the first great. time i saw it and it's still one of my favorite movies so yeah yeah I do love Greece. I have a soft spot for Greece. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mum was Rizzo when she was lit, when she was younger. Oh, wow. oh adorable. Uh, for a while. <laughs> uh, as a final question, then to keep it to keep it fun, um, do you think in your in you've both been involved in two massive TV shows in your career? You've been lucky enough to to do that. Do you think there's a character who would benefit from either reading storied life of AJ Fickery or the late Bloomer? Do you think there's a character in your shows that could benefit or would would maybe find some uh something fun in those in those books do you think wow so like the character we played on our shows or yeah like or any of the characters in your show who would have benefited maybe from reading either of those two books do you think Ooh, mm. i think anyone can benefit from it but but my character aria in pretty little liars uh she grew up to be a i should know this she was the the reader of the show like she mm. um Mm. fell in love with her English teacher so she was like big into literature so she probably has read would have read these books anyway yeah I, guess, I mean maybe if Sheldon would read the story life of AJ Fickery it would invoke some emotion <laughs> <in there>. <laughs> maybe <laughs> I, I mean thought, I, don't know. I thought that but then I thought you know, well, maybe Raj good. would love it because he's such a hopeless right. romantic I don't know that's really good question funny. yeah I thought Raj as well but then I thought they were both maybe obvious but then i don't know this show maybe maybe well, wallowitz maybe I some am, yeah um, maybe in wallowitz's early years he would have benefited yeah. from it who knows who knows so 15 years of big bang congratulations on that that's just mad i googled that today and was just like how is that possible that that much time is thanks man oh, wow. crazy times guys enjoyed the movie thoroughly i hope it goes really well for you thanks for your time today thank thanks, you man. Scott. thank you take care Bye. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!